navigation en Imoca 60, je crois que le premier chose qui surprend en fait c'est la On an Imoca 60, I think the first thing that strikes you is the power of the boat and the physical commitment required to sail them. J'ai grandi à côté de Nantes, près d'une rivière. I grew up near Nantes, close to a river called the Erd, where I started sailing on an optimist, like lots of kids do. But really, my first encounter with offshore boats was when I was in high school, at the age of 18 and, or 19, and I sailed for a weekend on a muscadet with friends. It was a bit of a revelation. From then on, I had only one thing on my mind, to go out sailing. So I decided to go to the Glenon Sailing School, where I trained a lot. I became a sailing instructor, and at the same time I was fixing up boats. Then I started doing round the cans racing, and step by step I got into the world of offshore racing, starting with the Mini Transat. So I started with the Mini, and then I bought a prototype. So I had a very good boat, called Defrenmi number 151. With that boat, I won almost every race of the season, including victory in the Mini Transat. Winning the Mini Transat was a springboard for me, and it allowed me to sail in the Figaro class. After that, I sailed class 40s for two to three years, and then in 2014, I discovered the Amoka 60s. The boats are special because they're very fast, with immediate acceleration, quite stiff and extremely powerful. As soon as there is the slightest breeze, the boat takes off, and similarly, if there's some wind, you quickly have to reduce the sail area. Sailing these boats is magic. They're safe too. It's just great. I would say it's perfect. My best memory, without any doubt, is the Mini Transat. It was the first race where I was completely alone on my boat. It was a real journey for me. You're on a small boat, alone, in the middle of the ocean, with no one around, zero communication. Those are important moments in the making of a human being and also in becoming a real offshore sailor. The worst memory is also the Mini Transat. My first one in 2001, when after I broke my automatic pilot, I had to turn back and abandon the race. We'd left the Canaries three days before and were sailing downwind under Spinnaker to Cape Verde. My automatic pilot broke and I still had 25 days of racing ahead of me. It took me a while to make the decision to retire from the race. I sailed back to the Canaries upwind. I passed the whole fleet as they went on under Spinnaker, so it was very hard. What makes me happy when I sail? I think the first thing is being in a state of nature. That is extraordinary. Everything is changing around us all the time. It often takes us by surprise, so you have to be ready to react. I like the contact and the proximity we have to nature. We almost feel like a, an animal, where you have to be permanently in a state of alertness. What am I most afraid of? There is a background anxiety. Well, not exactly an anxiety, but some kind of fear of receiving bad news and not being able to do anything about it because you're so far away at sea. That's my biggest fear.